I agree. If you were Prime Minister, what one key decision would you make about schooling that might change Pakistan schooling? I would uh, totally um, empower the school management to manage the school rather than being centrally managed by a ministry or a department. And um, also the second thing I would do is to give uh, higher salaries and make it on merit teachers to be employed right, right from primary school to secondary to tertiary schools so that you attract the better minds of the country into teaching as a profession. And also not only just salary, you've got to give them the respect in society, you've got to give them honor. Do you know the, in the olden days, the principal of government college, A, got a military ranking, he was always a colonel. Secondly, he had a place in the um, hierarchy and next to the high court judge. Everybody respected the principal of government college. That was the premier education institution. Of course, HSN was a breed apart. I mean, principal HSN college had a direct uh, contact with the governor of the province. And uh, so he uh, certainly enjoyed a tremendous um, uh, respect and, um, and, 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 and level in, in society. And so did the teachers. Because uh, I can tell you, um, half the teacher, uh, students uh, during my period were uh, non-Muslims. And I would say at least 30% of them came from the ruling families of different states, both Sikhs, Hindus, and Muslims. You had Nawaba, Bahalpur's children, Khairpur's children, then the Sardars of Balochistan, Bukhtis, Las Bela, uh, and from, of course, from East Punjab, we have Maharaja Patiala, Jean, Naba, Kapurthala, and from the Kulu states, every village had a Raja. And these people, you know, had a certain stature in society, and they would all, when they came to HN College, they would touch the feet of the teachers, the Maharajas would. That's a short sign of respect. That's a sign of respect. So where did it change? So that, I mean, this is this was expected. I remember Raja Maharaja Bhupender Singh, who was, I think, one of the greatest benefactors of HN College. He built the Gurdwara. And uh, at one time, HN ran out of money. So Mr. Barry called him up and he said, um, I need your help. So he said, what's your problem? He said, I don't have enough students. So he rounded up 30 students from Patiala. And they were from the Sardars and everything. You go to Itzin College. Wow. I remember when I was there, I had more than 30 friends from Patiala State alone. And when Bhupender Singh came to Itzin College, he always addressed the principal as sir, as a Maharaja of a state. Wow. So this was expected. I mean, it was not uh, demanded. It was. Uh, it was. Uh, it was something that people felt uh, obligated to to respect an institution that provided them the knowledge and experience and the and the and, and the learning.